What's going on guys, it's your boy Jho bringing you a brand new video and today Game Informer released another new article revealing more information about Destiny's newest expansion, The Taken King. So in this new article they detail a lot of information after their hands-on experience from playing the Taken King expansion. So there's a lot of information in this article and I want to highlight some of the more important stuff. Some of the stuff were mentioned in previous articles or interviews and some of this is new stuff so let's jump right into it. So the first thing is the story of the Taken King. The storyline itself is a lot better and it's told a lot better as well this time around from when the base game launched one year ago. Uh, the story is a lot simpler. We got Oryx, the new villain in town in the solar system and he's here to get revenge on all the guardians that killed his son Crota back in the dark below from the Crota's end raid. So a lot more simpler storyline and there's a lot more better storytelling about it. Uh, we got more cutscenes and cinematics. Um, the characters that are involved such as the allies that we have in the tower have more personality about them and it makes it a lot better in the sense of learning the story and the lore behind all the things happening in the PvE aspect of the game. So really good stuff in terms of the story. Next up we got the Dreadnought. So the Dreadnought is the new location that we're able to explore and uh, participate in missions, patrols, and various activities in the Taken King. Uh, first thing he talks about is the fact that you can't use your Sparrow in the Dreadnought because there are a lot of chasms tight corridors and battlefields so there's not really space for you to use uh, your sparrow and ride around which is pretty good because I, lot of, I like a lot of action in uh, my patrols and my missions and stuff like that instead of a lot of riding around to get to places. Next thing is that the Dreadnought has a lot of puzzles and stuff. For example, um, there's an exotic weapon that is broken into 50 pieces and scattered across the Dreadnought and we as the Guardians have to locate all of these pieces and come together as a community to figure out how we can collect them and where we have to go in order to unlock a special gun so that's pretty cool stuff like that um, there's also talk about the new quests so after you reach the level cap of 40 it will unlock even more quests and missions structured as the Taken War and it will reveal a lot more stuff, give us a lot more insight on the story and more content as well. So that's really good also. And then the next thing we get into is some general stuff. So in terms of like your intellect, discipline and strength, uh, they change that up a bit. It's not really percentages anymore. Um, it's kind of tier levels and it will tell you exactly how much seconds your cooldown is for your grenade, for your melee for your super and stuff like that so that's really good the percentages are kind of vague but I think the seconds are definitely a lot better because it clearly states how long your cooldown is versus a percentage which is a lot more vague and uh, not as clear as the amount of time specifically so that's really good and then they talk about ghost shells there's gonna be new ghost shells that we can obtain in the Taken King uh, the reason being as well is because ghost shells will have uh, stats on them so there's going to be ghost shells that have perks um, ghost shells that can boost your intellect discipline or strength and a lot of stuff like that so that's really cool um, they're implementing ghost shells I believe class items also have the same um, add-on to them as well so they're implementing more stuff that were just kind of aesthetic in the game and making them more vital or more important I guess to your character and how your character is able to level up and become stronger within the game so that's really cool as well we also have um, some minor stuff like being able to show off your primary secondary or heavy weapon when walking through the social spaces so that's pretty cool kind of similar to when they allowed you to wear your helmet in the tower so some minor changes like that were are also really cool additions to the game as well and then next up they talk about more tower stuff so first thing is about the gunsmith so the gunsmith has a reputation meter now as well they mentioned this earlier and uh, you're able to gain reputation by completing weapon tests out in the field so you basically I guess grab a gun from him uh, complete the tasks associated with the gun and you earn reputation or there's bounties and stuff that you have to tackle as well and then uh, once you get a certain reputation you're allowed to 
um, order an arms day weapon that comes I believe every Wednesday and you're able to get a gun from it so it's pretty cool it adds more to the game in the majority of the first year of destiny the gunsmith didn't have too much of a role in the game besides being able to buy synthesis and stuff like that um, they implemented him more in house of wolves when you're able to reforge weapons um, so he saw a lot more involvement there and they sell telemetries with him now as well but um, being able to earn reputation and do all these other stuff and earn guns from him because he is the gunsmith after all. Um, so being able to earn guns from him is really cool. I think this is a great idea to implement as well. Then some other stuff we got that they mentioned previously. Uh, Vanguard and Crucible marks are combined for legendary marks and you can use them to purchase new legendary gear in the tower. Um, there are also another material called armor materials which is a combination of these class-specific items such as Hydronic Essence, Plasteel Plating, and Sapphire Wire. So those are now combined and you won't have to worry about a shortage of any of those three specific ones since you can use them for any character at any time. So that's really good as well. And then the last thing they talk about the tower is in regards to Xur. So Xur has a new item in his inventory. Uh, this one's really interesting. I can't wait to see how this plays out when the Taken King comes out. But Xur has a new item called Three of Coins. And what this does is it allows you to boost your chance of an exotic drop on the next boss you fight. So I don't know how this works specifically. That's all they talk about in the article or that's all they mention. But I don't know if this is in regards to Strike specifically or if it's for um, raid bosses as well, or even the bosses that might appear in patrol when you go on patrol in the Dreadnought, because they did mention that you might experience boss battles on patrol as well. So I don't know if it's specific to any of those three, or if it's any boss across those three different game modes, but that will be interesting to see that you can get higher chances of an exotic. Um, that's always really good, getting better rewards, so that's pretty cool. And also allows you to use your strange coins in case you have a lot, which majority of people probably do from acquiring so many over the months uh, leading up to taking King. So that's another good addition for the tower. And then the next thing they talk about is strikes. So there's three new strike playlists specifically. Uh, we got the Vanguard Legacy Strike Playlist, which is basically a list of all the strikes from Vanilla Destiny and... House of Wolves and Dark Below, so the two expansions, and Vanilla Destiny, pretty much all year one strikes. And then we got Vanguard Ursa, which is the next playlist, and it's a list of random heroic strikes that will award players with legendary marks and legendary engrams. So that's pretty cool, you can go into a specific playlist to earn some marks and legendary engrams, that's always really good. That's why people play like the Dragon and Rock strikes that we had recently from the two expansions and then we got the last one called Vanguard Marmoset which is the last strike playlist and this one is a list of strikes pulled specifically from the Taking King so if you guys want to try out the new strikes only there's a special playlist for that so that's really good it separates all the playlists so you can experience specific strikes that you want to play at a certain time and then finally they talk about the crucible in detail they don't really talk about the raid so there's no details going over the raid um, it's probably going to come out at a later time but the crucible is the last thing they detail specifically in this article so uh, they only talk about the game modes such as zone control and mayhem and rift I don't know if there's going to be more game modes than those three but uh, hopefully there is and uh, that would be really good they also mentioned that salvage is going to be a permanent playlist in uh, Crucible in the Crucible directory or menu. Um, so that's really good if you like to play Salvage a lot. And then also they talk about a ton of new bounties and activities in regards to Crucible. So there's going to be dedicated bounties for your class each day. Uh, there's going to be fire team bounties to complete with your friends, featured playlist bounties, Trials of Osiris bounties, and even weekly bounties that come with big rewards. Probably the thing where you complete a set of weekly bounties and then you're given a bigger task or a bigger bounty to earn a great weapon, a legendary or exotic weapon. So that's really good. Um, that's pretty much the gist of the article. A lot of jam-packed information that I wanted to go over with you guys. Let me know your guys' thoughts 
are on all of this stuff. I'm really excited. All the information coming out each day is a lot more hype. I can't wait for their reveal stream as well um, of all the stuff they want to discuss and show us before the Taken King comes out. And it's all really exciting. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching as always. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.